Okay, hello boys and girls. Uh, I'm real excited to do our Nazi crafts. It's all about spiders and the Ashanti people where this folklore originated. Back then it was called folklore. And remember I said it was thousands of years ago. So when this story was made up by storytellers and by parents, Ashanti was a big character for them, just like we love Spider-Man here in America, don't we? And there are a lot of stories made up about Spider-Man, so it's kind of the same idea. But we are going to make a spider web today. And I don't know if you know or not, but both uh, boys and girl spiders can make spider webs. The boy spiders usually go out and hunt and just kill their prey and eat it right then. But sometimes they make a spider web to catch some things like flies or bugs or anything they like to eat. But we're making a make-believe spider web today. It's already drawn on your shirt and just like when I called, I needed your size so I could put the right size on here. I did give directions for drawing a spider web and I gave some real cool pictures. If you would like to decorate the back of it like one of these, you can make another spider web and there's one like we're doing. So look at the front and back of these and there are different spider web pictures. And if you choose that, uh, you can just copy the ones on the page if you want to make a back, a back one for yourself. You will have plenty of glitter, but always save your glue, your glitter, and any supplies I send on, because you might need them again, okay? It's super important. Okay, first step. Step one, with the spider web already drawn, that's where you're gonna start on your instruction sheet with the spider web already drawn. Now, you're gonna need your parents to help you, and I wanna tell you something, you're not making <clears throat> dots on your spider web, you're not making big blobs on your spider web, okay? You are making straight lines, okay? So I'm gonna start with this straight line, and I'm gonna make glue. Come on, Mr. Glue, and you're gonna go straight down like this, all the way down. Try to keep your line on top of the uh, black line. You might wanna come back if your line's kinda thin like mine, but a thin line is better. And if you do get a blob like I just did, you might wanna smooth it out and check and see that you didn't leave anything out. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do one section, okay? So I'm going to do half of this line. You can do as much as you want, but don't wait too long to put the glitter on it because it might dry up. The glitter, I mean the glue might dry up, okay? So try to make a, thin, a pretty thin line, but right on top of the black. Now I'm going to go all the way to the top, okay, so I covered that black line, and if it made dots, it's okay, it's not going to be perfect, and then I'm going to go round and round like this, Ooh. see, right, you have to go slow, you cannot go fast on this, okay, and I want to make this whole spider well with you, so I hope I don't take too long, see? Let's go ahead and do one. And I have got to learn to stop that because we're going to have some glitter in the middle. I get <clears throat> too much in a hurry. So if you wait a minute, that string will go away. Siri will wait a minute this time and show you. See? See? It goes away. So wait till that string that ends up at the end goes away. See? sure you go all the way to the end. i tell you what I should have done. I should have put my glasses on. Oops. So sometimes you're going to leave that string because I forget. Okay, here we go. Let me make that go all the way to the top. Okay, here we go. We're going to do this section. And this is about half of the spider web. So we're going to do half at a time. Okay, guys? 
go ahead and do that section. Just go slow, don't go too fast, but you have to keep squeezing. And if your parents need to do the glue part, that's okay. You're gonna be sprinkling the glue, the glitter, I'm sorry, on top of the glue. Okay, in just a minute. Try not to waste it, okay? Be very, very careful with it, okay? Now, you can use both hands, like I have one hand that's getting tired right now. Sometimes I can't see if I put the line, because of course I didn't put my glasses on. Okay, so go up. See how that line is just laying down on there? Just let it lay down like that. Let me do the big one. Now, we're doing the first half of the glitter, okay? We're doing the first half of the glitter, okay? Let's make sure I got this line. I don't think I did a good job on that. Oops, I left that one out too. Okay, here we go, first half. Now, all you have to do is you have to open up your glitter, and I'm gonna open it right here, and you have to peel off the top. Don't spill it. It's super easy to peel off, okay? Don't spill it at this point, okay? I just picked a dark color and go to the sprinkle side, okay? And open it like that. Don't go to the pour side. If you pour it, it's gonna be way too much and you're gonna waste a lot of glitter quickly. Are you ready? Now sprinkle on top of the glue. See what I'm doing? You might wanna go sideways so you don't waste as much. Sprinkle on top of the glitter. You don't have to sprinkle in the middle of your spider web. Now, I would wait until nighttime, or wait until you sleep one night, and let this, I let mine dry overnight, okay? That's what I did. See? Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Just like that, okay? Here we go. Just like that. See? Just keep it on the, whoopsie, forgot about that. Okay, here we go. Keep it on the lines the best that you can. Just keep sprinkling all the way across the line. Okay, see there should be lines over here because we're doing, it's easy if you go, you know, um, whoops, sometimes you have to go back if you left any, whoops, there's a line too. Sometimes you have to go back if you left any out. Okay, so that's half of the spider web. Oops, I can't do this kind of. I hate to do that because now I've kind of messed up the sides of it. Okay, because I gotta put glue on them. You may not wanna do what I just did. <laughs> you may wanna wait till you get the glue, glue down here. Now, don't shake it, okay? I just did half, but we're not gonna shake it off yet. Got it? Okay, now we're gonna glue the other half. Okay, this is cool, just keep on going. It doesn't take long to do, but you still have to go slowly, okay? Don't go fast, make your line. It may take both hands, like it does me sometimes. Make the line and then go to the next line. Stay right on top of the black line with your glue lines. Now, if you want to, your parents can do the glue. You can shake the glitter in just in case you're worried about the glue, okay? Or if you're big enough, you can do your own glue. Whatever mom says, okay? Let her be with, let mom or your grandparents or someone decide for you on that one, okay? Now. Go all the way across as slow as you can. If you do it slowly, you'll get a great line, okay? 
if you do it too fast, like I'm trying not to be too fast for you guys, because that would be a bad example of Miss Terry, wouldn't it? So I'm trying real hard to go as slow as I can and still be able to finish this video today. didn't I? Okay, here we go. It's not going to be perfect. Okay, now I'm ready to shake and bake here. <laughs> I had a principal that used to say shake and bake all the time. Okay, so we're sprinkling and we're taking our time. Don't sprinkle all over the whole thing. Just try to sprinkle on your glue. Okay? Try your best to only hit the glue. See, I just told you that, and I just hit right in the middle, didn't I? Okay, you'll you will hit in the middle sometimes. Just be careful, and it may help to turn it around a little bit so you can go sideways. Hey, parents, be sure you have an area that's covered, and uh, glitter's hard to get out of carpet. But it's pretty easy to sweep up off of your uh, laminate or wooden floors, okay? That's easier to clean up than your carpet areas. But, guys, do not sprinkle this glitter on your parents' or grandparents' floor, okay? To get to do art at home, we have to be very, very careful, don't we? Not to make a mess, or they might not let us do it. Okay, here we go. Silly, wasn't it? Okay, I'm gonna cover that back up. It's okay to. <laughs> I can't believe I did that again. Okay, here we go. Cover it back up. <laughs> Miss Terry's making your mistakes for you, so you don't have to make any today. Okay, there you go. Now, guess what? We don't shake right now, do we? Okay, we let our parents take this somewhere safe. So, Miss Terry is going to go lay this down, okay, somewhere safe, and I'm going to let it dry overnight. Now, I want you to do your very, very best, and I'm going to show you one that's finished and what it looks like, okay? I'll be right back. I'm going to get this out of our way and try to put it somewhere safe today. I'm right here, guys. I'm not going away anymore. really two things okay now this is one that is finished I want you to see it and you also are gonna get a little spider out of a package and it's a velcro spider okay so you can take it on and you can take it off but don't play with it okay so we're gonna put a shunty on the spider web and you can put it anywhere or if you want to make a line of glue and glitter. Now, this is the first one I made, but I love it. I'm going to try to wear it the day we have class, okay? So you can see what we're wearing. Parents, when we wash this, uh, it's a good idea to get your hairspray and spray it so it sets. And maybe when you wash it, none of the glitter will come off. So spray it real good with hairspray after that night of letting it dry. And then um, I, I'm not going to put this one in the washing machine. I'm going to kind of wash it by hand in the sink. Okay. And also, if I have a spot or anything on it, I'm just going to scrub it with spray and wash. 
or something like that that you use. I use spray and wash. So, you're going to Velcro your little spider where you want. we have a new little craft to do. Now, I want to show you this one first finished, okay? This is a uh, rug, and this is how the Ashanti people from Africa made their rugs. Now, remember I told you in the book that they had to find things to dye. Of course, it was material. Ours is paper. And you have a container of paper. Everybody has different colors and different sizes. And what you're going to do is decide how you want to decorate yours. I have two that are already done. Now you have triangles, you have hexagons, you have diamond shapes and squares. So you have, see these? Those are rectangles. And you have big things to go across here and everybody has some so you can do that if you want your colors you don't have to make it like mine okay uh, if you want to stop the video and and do yours what you're going to do if you want to is you can start right in the middle with those big ones and put the others in the middle of it if you want to or um, you can just start with small ones wherever you want to this is another one that's done because the fringe is bigger on this one so I didn't need as many things to make it with, but it's super cool. I love this one, okay? And we put fringe on the end so it would be like a real rug, okay? But they didn't always use black either. They had lots of different colors of rugs in the background. I just thought the black would really show up some bright colors because that's one thing the Ashanti people are all about, bright. So, your plain sheet looks like this. Don't use too much glue. See, yours is like this. So, you are going to start from scratch. And you're going to put glue behind. Don't put glue all over this, okay? Put your glue behind the pieces like that. And then, if your uh, pieces are too big, uh, you can cut them, okay? So have some little scissors ready or get your parents to let you use some little scissors. And see, you're going to put a little bit of glue. You don't have to put a lot of glue. See, and you can put it different ways. You can fix yours any way that you want to. Tiny bits of glue though. Don't use a bunch of glue. Don't use too much glue, okay? But it's going to be super, super colorful. You're going to just make it any, uh oh, forgot about this, didn't I? The other end of it. So I'll scoop these up, okay? I think I'm gonna move the green here. So now if you want to, just uh, like arrange your pieces first, if you want. Arrange your pieces first, like you think you might wanna have them. It fits just perfect like that. And then you can put them together. Now, let me show you something. You can also put pieces in the middle of other pieces. Look how cool that looks. See? Because I have a feeling you might have too many pieces. I just put plenty so you guys would have a lot to work with. So, oh, I like this one. There you go. So you could make diamonds on top of those. So any ideas that you want, you can do it. Look, see? So you may want to just, and it's gonna be very, very colorful. I love the pink and green. And like I said, you may have, you can switch around too before you glue and see what you like the best, okay? I love that. And you have some extras, you know, and if you want to use your extras for different things, you can. You can put them anywhere you like. And if you want to cover up some of your some of your fringe, you can. And not have it as uh, fringy. Whatever you'd like to do. It's 
all up to you. See, you can put the little triangles right in the middle of those, can't you? And put one up here. Whatever you want to do, you just think about how you want to decorate yours. I'm going to save these because I want to make sure I have enough for everybody because these are super hard to cut out. So, I'm not going to actually do the gluing and stuff. I'm going to move this out of the way though, okay? And I'm going to have our big blank sheet of paper, okay? This is our big blank because we have some drawing. If you want to draw a spider, this is the spider that we can draw and this shows us how to draw him. It's really, really easy. Let me show you something, okay? I think I have a pencil. Okay, and it should be sharpened, shouldn't it? We need a sharpened pencil. Lordy. Okay, here we go. Now, when you're drawing a spider, look at it very close because you have to do step one and the red shows you what you do next. So first, you can use the whole paper if you want to do a big one. You make a cross. See? Second, you go in the middle of it and make a big X. And if you've ever had art class with me, we sometimes make snowflakes like this. I don't know if you remember or not, but there is my spider web. Then I start going across like this. See? That's how I drew yours on your shirts. Here's your spider web. And we're doing it like this. And I'm going to make another one. These are just like you're making waves on the ocean, aren't they? See that? This is what they're doing. They drew the outside one first and the middle one. And then i got to drop one more. And they drew a center one. Now the center one is going to be the very middle. We didn't do that on our spider web. But here's a center one. You must make that one special. Now, for the spider, okay, they just put another plastic one in the middle and you can, but you have your spider for your t-shirt, don't you really? Not really for this drawing. But then, do you see how they colored it? They traced it in black, first of all. And then, this is the way they colored it. Cool, huh? Orange and black. Looks well, kind of Halloween-y too, doesn't it? Now, here's another easy spider to draw. And I want you to, want you to, I want to do this with you because he can be the spider going to this web. Let's just make a little line there. So he's going to that web. Okay, so first step, always in red, make the circle for his head. Second step, two little spider eyes, kind of in the middle. Remember, we always leave like a little white bit because that's his eyeball, isn't it? Now, these are his, the way he makes his web. We call them their little fangs, okay? Oh, body. Bigger body up at the top. Ooh, I may, may have made mine too big. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs. Now, this is real simple. You just make a zaggedy line, okay? And then you come up and with another zigzag line that's right beside it. So, it's just kind of like drawing lightning, isn't it? Oh, you got to put them close together. I should have put this one right there. Because you got to fit four. There. And then you can color him black if you want to. Close together. See? A zigzag like lightning. Oh, I like this side better, really. I did better. 
Sometimes when you practice, you get better, don't you? Now, there's his legs, and there's nothing else except you are going to have a box of crayons today. And if you want to, you can get your crayons, and you can trace it in black. If Here's the black marker right in the corner. Black, um, nope, that's blue. Let's find black. Come on, Mr. Black. Where are you? There you are. Right in the middle. Okay, so if you want to, you can color him black. See? I love to color. It's my favorite part. I just have to do the video quicker than I get to do. Maybe I'll just do this anyway, huh? Okay. Oh, I love this black. Doesn't that look good? So you can make, on your big sheet of paper, you can make a spider and a spider web. Cool. Cool. Okay. Now, his body's black. Some spiders are brown. Some spiders are all different colors, okay? Because there are thousands of kinds of spiders. Some are venomous. That means that when they bite you, don't play with the spider, okay? Because it's real hard to tell them apart. You just leave them alone. But it's really cool to watch them, isn't it? There's how they spin their web. And here's his little eyes. And I'm just going to kind of leave his face white so that you can see it better. Now, and here's his spider web he's going to. So then, guys, if you want to, you can trace your spider web. And that'll make it look like the one on the shirt, huh? Real easy. Draw the big lines like we did first. And go kind of slow, okay? Because you get off the lines. But one good thing is you can go back over it like Miss Terry. See? Now, going straight across this one. Concentrate. Y'all have to remember something. Miss Terry doesn't have her glasses on. But I'm doing my best, just like I tell y'all. Okay? Can barely see that little line. I really wanted to do all of this for you guys, though. Now, we have a snack left, okay? Now, you are going to get pretzel sticks in your bag, okay? And the pretzel sticks, you're going to stick all in the side of your Eskimo pie, so it looks like a spider, okay? So you're making a big old spider with an Eskimo pie. Here goes spider next week with an Eskimo pie. Now, there he is, going to his spider web. Okay, that was fun. Now, you're going to, now I only have these uh, pretzels right now, and mine kind of broke, but that's okay. We don't get upset over the little things, do we? Okay, so we're going to have some pretzel sticks, and I'm sorry i got to break mine because these are for some other thing, but I don't have the sticks yet. So stick it inside there. Okay, I'm just making believe these are straight pretzel sticks. You're going to have, oh, that turned out good. That looks like a real spider web, a real spider leg, doesn't it? Let's see if I can do that. Okay, stick them down in there. you got to have four on each side, don't you? So I'm going to and mash it back. Oh, I love this. Okay. So I'm breaking these in half. These are the wrong kind, but we do not fret. Huh. It's just what I have right now today to make this video. But Miss Joanna's going to be going to the store for me. Okay. So there's one leg. Two legs. Might be best to put your Eskimo pie in the refrigerator <laughs> to get to get harder. Okay, three legs and 
Leg number four. But those look okay, don't they? Mash it down over them. Uh-oh, I lost a leg. Let's try this one again. Mash them down and you have a spider with spider leg. Yours is gonna look a lot, lot better because your spider legs are gonna be sticks, okay? So I'm sorry mine's falling apart. But I think I better put them in the refrigerator before I have class, huh? They might get kind of hot in here and fall apart. So, you guys, I hope you had fun today. I hope you love our crafts and our food and everything we're doing for Spider Week, okay? And thank you so much, and I'll be seeing you next week where we're going to learn about a Chinese folklore tale, okay? And we're gonna make all kinds of Chinese things that come from China. So it's gonna be really fun, okay, next week. Super surprise, okay? So see you guys later, that was fun, bye-bye.